Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing some easy DIY Starbucks holiday cups, Christmas cups, whatever you celebrate. So the first one is going to be this color changing cup. And so you can pick this cup up for $2 at your local Starbucks. I actually picked mine up from the Starbucks inside of Target because I was in there shopping anyways but yeah this cup is really cool because it's green now and i should have put a, a piece of footage in here but when you put hot water in it it actually turns red and so i thought that was really cool um and i didn't want to mess with that feature so right now i'm just going to wipe it down with alcohol like i do with all my cups before i do anything to them um but like because this one has that color changing feature i wanted to keep it really simple so i have this silver hollow um vinyl this is just regular vinyl and just some random brand that i picked up on amazon um and i'll leave a link to it below um if you're interested and it came with like five or seven sheets of vinyl and so i just cut out these little snowflakes and you can get the i use a silhouette you can get these snowflakes in the silhouette store and so i just cut out the different snowflakes and i just randomly placed them on the cup like i said i didn't really want to mess with this cup too much but you guys have voted on my instagram you wanted to see me do something and since the cup was already green and it turns red i figured silver was the best way to go about um customizing this cup and so snowflakes very wintry i like to be able to use things i make for like the holiday season through like April because I live in Colorado and it snows till May and it's it's been snowing since we had our first snow for this season in September so we always got snow out here um so a cup like this is pretty much fitting almost all year um so even like I cut some snowflakes in half um to kind of put them around the, the the rim of the cup so if you want to create that effect you don't have to worry about trying to like chop them in silhouette studio um, you can just do it like that. So that's how that looks. That cup's really cute, really simple, very beginner friendly. So just something you can do. Um, so yeah, this one's easy, quick. All right, our next cup is more of a Christmas e cup, and we're gonna be using the cold cup. It's this 24 ounce Vente cup, and you can see it has this beautiful red, white, and green straw. So that kind of differentiates it from the normal one with the regular green straw. So this is their more holiday Christmas cup, but everything else about the cup is exactly the same. You can just get the straw, and these are three dollars at Starbucks. And so, um. This one, I wanted to do a little bit more with it. It's still very beginner friendly because the things that I'm using, um, but yeah. And so I wanted to glitter this one. So I made a circle and I'll leave the dimensions in the description box. And I have a little video clip where I actually uh, show you the dimensions of what that circle is in order to cover up the little logo in the middle. But yeah, I just cut it with some regular, it's I only have Oracle 651 vinyl, so um, you could get the Oracle 631, which is the removable, removable, ugh, I cannot say it, removable vinyl um, that you can use since you're not going to be keeping this on long, you're only going to have it on the glitter. And so just press that down nice and firm. And I also went ahead and put the ball from the Dollar Tree and PVC pipe. And I got my big thing and Mod Podge always at the ready. And so we're going to start with that Snow White. It's a beautiful, like, true white, powder white. Has a bit of a translucent property to it that you can pick up on my website, period6glitter.com. Have plenty in stock at the time of me making this video. Um, but also know that I have a sale going on right now. So if you're seeing this on the day it goes live, which is Cyber Monday, we do have a sale. Um, so pop on over there. All of these colors are in stock and available. Um, so please get them. I recently sold out of a lot of colors uh, this past weekend, but don't worry. We have more of everything coming, a uh, big restock coming up. Hopefully to have it out before the end of the year. So just know that. But yeah, we're going to just um, Mod Podge the cup really normally, not doing anything special. Just put a nice layer on there. Um, with a cup like this big, because the Vente cups are pretty long, I try to, I don't make it like uber thin. I try to make it just like with a little bit of thickness to it so I can have time to like smooth everything out and make everything nice and even. Um, so I do suggest, you know, giving yourself some working time when you're using the Mod Podge and making sure you're putting a nice coat of glue on there. And so once you're satisfied with your coat, just dump and go um, with your glitter. So 
this layer isn't anything special you just want to make sure you get the whole cup covered um, so yeah that's all you're gonna do with this layer and I just want to say be careful not to glitter too far up under that rim because you want to make sure your lid is able to snap on and so the last thing I did I did this right after glitter and you can see my wet paint brush is still sitting there um, is to just take my weeding tool and this is the Cricut weeding tool you can pick these up at Michaels or wherever um, and you can get them like on Amazon too if you don't want like a Cricut brand your bootleg brand is fine and rip that a uh, piece of vinyl off so that's the only thing because if you don't rip it off it'll dry down with the rest of the glue then when you try to go it up it'll pull your glitter up and off the cup and you'll be SOL and have to re-glitter so just something to remember don't wait to pull that off just go ahead and pull it off so this is how it looks it's been an hour I didn't wait long between coats of this so it's been about an hour and we're gonna go ahead and do the second layer so I cut another circle um, if you're comfortable enough now that you have like the outline you don't have to put down another circle but I knew I just wanted to like when I was brushing on the Mod Podge to just be able to brush over the whole thing instead of trying to like line it up perfectly around that circle so i went ahead and just cut another one of those circles this one's a little harder to get in because now you have that lip like that small little lip of where like you between where the cup surface is and where the glitter is so it's a little harder so it didn't stick down the best but it's cool and so the next color we're actually going to do is icicle i thought i wanted to do just all snow white but you know of course glitter i wanted a little shiny and so this is icicle it has like a blue it's a white glitter but it has like a blue iridescent shift it's very pretty and i have one coming with a pink shift you guys it's gonna be so bomb um and this is lucky charm it's one of our chunky hollow glitters from the hollow nostalgia collection and so i'm gonna just glitter the mod podge and glitter the mod podge <laughs> i am going to glitter the whole cup with mod podge just normally um not doing anything special with this part And so once you're satisfied with your layer of Mod Podge, so this one I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. Um, and so I'm gonna start with the icicle at the top. And so for this one, I actually decided to do an ombre with the Lucky Charm, but there's this, a bit of a special way I did it um, because I didn't want the Lucky Charm too densely packed around the bottom. So I'm kind of using those lines on the cup as my guide to know where I wanna stop the the icicle all the way around that and so once I get the icicle to that bottom line I'm gonna just take this is a makeup brush you can see I've turned into a glitter brush has glitter and glue and everything all <laughs> all stuck in it but it's a good brush it's one of those mod brushes from Walmart you can just get in the makeup section um so yeah I'm just gonna take that I dipped it in my cup of Lucky Charm and me being my normal messy getting glue getting glue getting glitter everywhere and so I'm going to just use that to help me create that ombre because like I said, I didn't want it too dense um, and using one of these fluffy brushes help you pick up just enough and kind of get that control that you don't get when you sprinkle it on the cup. And so that's why I'm using the makeup brush. So just a little tip, you know, multi-purposing things. And so... I did still want it dense at the bottom and so once I was satisfied with how it looked like at the top area I went ahead and just picked it up and dumped it around that bottom lip you can differentiate what the lip I'm talking about is but 
yeah um if you have the cup you know what i'm talking about but i just wanted i wanted it dense around that bottom portion and then i'm going to bring it up just a little bit more to create some continuity um since those surfaces are different diameters so i'm just going to do that really quickly and then give it a light tap and then the last thing you want to do like we always do with chunky glitter is just use your finger to pat them down because even like with epoxy even though we're using a different material you want to make sure that your chunky glitters are laying flat because if they're not laying flat then it's going to take you many more coats than it should to get um a flat layer and so the last thing i did was come back in with the rest of that icicle to fill in any spots that were left so don't miss this part um so yeah this is crucial because if not you'll just have the white underneath and it'll kind of look weird so just make sure you come back in and get it with the icicle to fill in the rest of the parts um for the ombre and like i was just saying uh don't forget to pat down your glitter with your finger just very gently you're not trying to like pull any up some will knock off which is completely normal um but just make sure you're getting it to lay flat And the last thing we're gonna do before our glue starts to dry is just take that little center piece off. And you can see because I didn't have it pressed down too good, I just needed to take a wet paper towel, just wet with water, um, and wipe away that Mod Podge that had seeped under the sticker, vinyl, whatever. Alrighty, so using a new product today, this is the Counterculture DIY Quick Coat. It's a non-toxic, uh, polyurethane or urethane I don't know if it's polyurethane but it says urethane sealer if my camera would have focused you would have been able to see all of that <laughs> on the bottle but since you can't I'm gonna just you just have to take my word for it y'all and so this is just something you can use like after you mod podge with glitter or anything like that to kind of seal it in to kind of reduce like the amount or the layers of epoxy that you have to do. Um, if you choose to do this under under epoxy, this is another non-epoxy. If I, I haven't mentioned that. This is another non-epoxy cut we can do. And so just some background really quick while I'm off subject is that I chose to do it this way because I know you guys really like the non-epoxy alternatives. And so I went to the deep, deep depths of the internet and I found Counterculture DIY, this quick sealer um, and also the bright tone uh, coating system and so that's why I chose to do this because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about epoxy and plastic and over the long term epoxy can change the chemical composition of plastic which worries a lot of people me personally I have many cups for years that have been epoxied and I haven't had any issues but I understand the concern I'm not a, I'm an engineer I'm not a chemist but that's just what I know but anyways I use that to seal this in and so it takes about an hour to dry and it was really nice it was like it was a really nice coating and so this is the crystal lac bright tone and you can pick this up on their website i'll leave a direct link to it below and so my camera was just tripping you guys i'm so sorry um but yeah this is another non-toxic very low odor um non-chemical sealer it's water-based and so I picked this up, like I said, on the internet, on their website, and they're a nice small family company. It's so cute. Like, they have pictures of everyone in the family on the website. I loved it. Um, and so, yeah, like, this can be used on everything from, like, wood to plastic to metal. So, I shook mine up. It doesn't normally have this many bubbles. I, You don't need to shake it because it doesn't settle or anything, but I don't know why, y'all. I just be out here freestyling. And so, yeah, so this is the first layer, and so I'm going to kind of... Uh, speed through everything that I did I didn't record every layer because every layer honestly is exactly the same um so but yeah this stuff I'll just speak on like what I thought of it very easy to use like I said it's water-based so you can just wipe it up with water I will say that someone's gonna ask do you need the turner I don't think you need to use a turner but I will say I think using a turner makes it easier because I felt like and you see me like hand turning it right now. And that's only because I noticed that my turner wasn't working for some reason. And my screw was loose. I had to go grab a screwdriver um, and tighten it up to get it to spin. But I just think that having the turner, you can probably put on a little thicker. 
and you can potentially do less coats my theory is not proven do not take my word for it but i just feel like if you weren't didn't have a turner that means you would be in a position to have it it would be upright so it would be upside down and so you would be in a position where the product would be moving in one direction so you would be having to put it on very 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 thin so that it would kind of cling in the spot it was at and so definitely think you should get a turner like the one you see me using in all my videos is like a one that's 20 bucks from amazon i will leave a link to it below um so it's not something that's going to break the budget and i think it's something that if this is something you're interested in doing as a business you will make your money tenfold very quickly off investing in a 20 dollars turner my opinion take it or leave it but yeah this stuff was super easy to use you just pour i just poured out a little bit in a little medicine cup from the dollar tree y'all know i love me the dollar tree and these are just regular paint brushes from michael's um i'll leave a link to those as well they come in like the big pack um from that their, their brand whatever their art brand is that's what brand these are and so like i told you with the glitter just make sure when you're going around the rim you're not going up under that rim because you want to make sure your lid can snap on and that's it that's how it looks and you see i have the screwdriver in the background because once i start filming i try not to stop um so yeah that's how it looks you can see the gloss and everything is already starting to come through and so um yeah and so i know i've already been talking the whole video but i'm gonna keep going so this is after two this two layers yeah this is the second layer so i'm gonna put the second layer on and then i'm gonna come back in about a minute and i'm gonna talk you guys through the vinyl part So this is what we're working with. This is how it looks after two coats. Oh yeah, and you only have to wait three to four hours between coats, and I've noticed after about two, it's dry to the touch, um, but I just wait the recommended time per the manufacturer. So this is my Silhouette Studio. I just used the free version of Silhouette Basic, and I already had the Snowflakes downloaded, but you can just go to that store tab and then type in Snowflakes, and you can purchase these. You get all three for I think 99 cents. They may even be on sale for 50 cents every now and again. And so I'm gonna just go into my toolbar. I'm gonna ungroup them because I only wanna use one of them. So I'm gonna get rid of the two that I don't want. And these are the snowflakes that are actually on the hot cup that you saw me do earlier. That's why I didn't have any footage in of that. But yeah, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is make the circle to cut a, cover up or cut out the area where the Starbucks logo is. And so the width of the circle is 2.1 eight eight and then the height is just two and so now i'm gonna size just blow up the snowflake and then drop the circle and i'm just moving up to the corner so i can it makes it easy for me to cut um and then drop the circle kind of in the middle so what you want to do is just line it up so like those little i don't know what they're called but like the branches of the snowflake are sitting right along that rim of the circle and so you're going to just do that and just don't make sure you don't resize the circle, only resize the snowflake. Um, but just you're going to make sure you do that, whether you have to like pull it out diagonally or pull it out horizontally or vertically until it kind of lines up perfectly uh, with those branches. And so then there may be a way to just cut inside the circle. I may be making stuff hard for myself, you know, easier way. But normally I just take my eraser and I'll just clean it up on the inside. And that's all you have to do, you guys, um, to get like that center snowflake. And you can do this with many, many other things besides a snowflake. But if you wanted to know how I did that, I decided to leave this in, because you guys be asking me, and I don't be wanting my videos to be too long, y'all. Um, but yeah, but y'all be asking, and then I, I be like kind of awkward, like, well, should I go back and post it? Or like, should I maybe just drop it in the Facebook group? But I realize there's, way more people over here than in the facebook group and i don't be knowing what to do so it's in this video um 
so this is how so you guys can know that this is how I did it And you guys, you cut it just like that. And this is the red vinyl from that same pack from the silver vinyl that I had earlier in the video. You can see, you cut out that circle perfectly. So if you were doing like a couple of these cups, you can just like move that circle to the next cup for the glittering part. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna line that up on there. But yeah, aren't these vinyls so pretty? I was so happy I found them. And they weren't too badly priced actually. I think you got like the seven sheets for maybe like $2 be my limit per 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl. Anything more than $2, I don't know about y'all, but I'm just not willing to pay. Um, so I think I maybe got this set for maybe like 12 bucks. So it was like right at what I was willing to spend for seven sheets of vinyl. Um, so yeah. So just move that down. I didn't sand the cup or anything. The vinyl went on very easily, very smoothly. And I, I considered sanding it first, but I decided not to because I'm like, I just want to see how it how it does. And yeah, no issues with adhering the vinyl after the two layers of bright tone. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't notice, I did go ahead and decide to put the bright tone over the center logo too, just to make it easier on myself. <laughs> And then I decided, my husband actually came up with this. We were just kind of talking about um, the ideals I wanted to do for the holiday season. And he was like, you should do something that says slay them. But like slay, like Santa slay. And I'm like, consider it done. And so yeah, shout out to my husband. He came up with this. And so I thought it was super cute. And I'm like, this is the cup that's going to have the slay them on it. Um, so yeah. And that is the font Cleopatra. Oh, you guys, for January, January is going to be my beginner series. So I'm going to spend all five weeks in January doing five beginner videos, including how to download the fonts from the internet and upload them into your Silhouette Studio. I'm sorry for the people that have Cricut. I do not have Cricut, but I would assume it works very similarly, and I hope you guys can tune in and learn something. But if you have any ideas you want to see me do for January for my beginner series, please, 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 please leave them below and if anybody sees that someone has an ideal that's their ideal thumbs it up so I know that's what you guys really want to see um so yeah so that's how it looks got our snowflake on there got our slam on there everything's looking good everything's looking bomb and now we're going to just go back to the monotony <laughs> of putting the bright tone on there so again you pick up your paintbrush get your little medicine cup and just start brushing it on there and so um, I have like everything in the video, like on the captions of the video on how many layers and everything that I did. There's just some extra footage in here for you guys if you just want to watch. If not, I'll leave a marker below where you can skip to the end. Um, actually, don't skip to the end because I actually sanded. So I'll be back in a minute so we can talk about sanding. So at this point, I've done six layers total, two before vinyl, four after the vinyl. 
And so I was, I thought I was going to be done at this point because I had pretty good coverage on top of the vinyl, but I noticed I had a few little lumps and bumps. And so on their website, it says it's completely safe to sand this, but that you should wear like a mask when you sand it as you should when you sand honestly anything. Um, I didn't wear a mask, don't judge me, but I'm just giving you guys the safety protocol in case you're interested. And so I just took some 220 grit sandpaper that you can go pick up at your local home improvement store. And it's go I know it's going really fast, but I didn't want to bore you guys with it. Um, but yeah, I'm just running my finger over the whole cup and just hitting it real quick with the sandpaper to get out any little lumps or bumps that I feel. And yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know you can kind of treat this like epoxy and you can sand this as well. Um, and then after I got done sanding, I wiped it down with alcohol and I did a couple of more coats of the bright tone and I will come back and show you guys how it all looks in the end. It turned out beautifully. So just stay tuned. All right, you guys, this is what we're working with. It is gorgeous and beautiful and shiny and holographic and holiday and Christmas and whatever you celebrate and winter and everything. And I love it. Um, I'm going to be drinking out this cup on the daily. Fun fact, anytime you guys see me make a cup, I usually drink out of the cup daily until I make my next cup for myself. So that's how I kind of, I don't like necessarily rotate them. I just use the crap out of all my cups. Um, so yeah, that's how the cup looks. Like I said, you can pick up the glitter on periodsofglitter.com as you're seeing this on Cyber Monday. Have a 15% off sale going on. All three of these glitters are in stock. I will leave a link to the vinyl below. I hope you guys will consider subscribing to the channel and joining our little glitter gang. And give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one.